Charlie Monger really believes that Baba stock will pump, but when will it happen? Hi, it's Marco here, and in this video, we are gonna try to understand when Baba stock will pump based on Charlie Munger. And to understand that, we need to learn about Charlie Munger. He's an absolute legend. I don't know if you know him. He's Warren Buffett investing buddy, and himself, Charlie Munger, has been investing for almost 100 years. He's actually quite an old man and has been investing for a long time. And his investing strategy has brought incredible results. So he's beat the market and his returns, compound returns, was 19% in a period where the Dow actually appreciated only 5% over a year. So that's basically four times what the market did. And his strategy at the time was what actually changed Warren Buffett's mind on investing. So it was to buy good businesses at a reasonable price. And that's what also Warren Buffett started doing and became one of the most successful investors on earth. And is Alibaba one of these incredibly strong businesses? Well, the answer is in the number, guys. So this is Alibaba group on ticker terminal if you want to know. So if you scroll down, we see that the revenues of Alibaba have been going up like an absolute rocket ship, like really going through the roof and beyond through 2017, 18, 19, 20. Look at the growth just for the revenues over basically an average of 40% a year. And I'll say here and now, guys, I'm going to go out on a limb. The price of Baba stock should be much higher now. So the question is, why is then the price so low? Why is it not high as it's supposed to be? Well, the reason is bad news, bad press. And we are not just talking about normal bad press. No, no, no. As you can see, there's been a barrage of bad news that seem to be actual a systematic attack to all Chinese stocks. And so, for example, we see that on 4th of July 2021, Biden has banned investment in 59 Chinese defense and tech firms. But then more bad news came out on the 27th of August. Then more bad news coming out on the 10th of November. Basically, every month, including December, we had bad news coming out on tech stocks. Okay, so does then Charlie Munger know a secret about BABA? Has he found the secret sauce that will allow BABA to then go up in price and lead to an incredible increase in price of the stock, making a lot of money for Charlie? Well, the answer is maybe, and also it doesn't matter to him. And the answer and the secret sauce of Charlie's Munger and also his investing, it is in his portfolio that we have here on the screen right now. So that's Charlie's Munger portfolio, and it's about 258 million, which is much smaller compared to Warren Buffett. But the point is here, these are the companies in his portfolio. Now, aside from Alibaba, all the other stocks are dividend paying stocks. Now, if you've been subscribed to this channel, you know that dividend paying stocks are a way to become very wealthy in a very long period of time. These are cyclical stock that continuously paying dividends and at the same time, they've been around for the longest time. So they are safe plays, they pay dividends and they are able to actually go through recessions, issues, crashes, you name it. But for example, we have Bank of America, the biggest position in Charlie's Munger and literally this one on its own, it's almost half of Charlie's Munger's portfolio. That is a company that is paying the dividend, that is growing a lot and it's been around forever. Then you have another bank, Wells Fargo, and they pay a dividend. Then you have another bank, US Bank Corp. And guess what? They pay a dividend. But these two last positions are very small anyway, so it doesn't quite matter. This is just $7 million. It's nothing, just a poor man pocket change, just nothing. Just please send it to me, Charlie. I just need those seven million. Just, just do it. But no matter what happens to Alibaba in the medium and long term, I'm sure that Charlie Munger will come out 
profitable of this trade. And there is a worst case scenario that we need to look at then as BABA investors. If you are a BABA investor yourself, well, let's have a look at what happened to Warren Buffett, because like I said, Warren Buffett has learned from Charlie Munger and they kind of learn from each other type of thing. So there is one investment that Warren Buffett has held for a long time, but eventually has started paying a lot of money. And guess which one it is? Yes, it is a company we've been looking at on this channel for a long while. It is BYD. And Warren Buffett has held this company in his portfolio for a whopping 13 years, guys. 13 years after which he then saw a big payoff, but that was after 13 years. And so the bottom line here is, is BABA a good buy? And is it a company that you should buy today? Well, the answer is, are you an investor like Charlie Munger? Are you able to weather 13 years of missed returns? And also consider that Alibaba at the time of recording doesn't pay any dividends. And so it's not able to kind of weather big storms and also it doesn't give you any income, which is something that, you know, sometimes it helps more from a psychological point of view, in spite of being, you know, money that just comes through every quarter, sometimes six monthly or yearly. And we know that everything, all this problem is stemming from the US-China war that is going on as we speak. And I've been giving you updates on this fight between these two massive countries. And if you want to subscribe, this is what the kind of news I talk about. Other than that, I hope you learned something today. That's about it. See ya.